Hello everybody, this is John Adolfi and we're in Kirkville. You don't see too many in Kirkville, but that's where we are today. And we're at 1222, that's 1222 Chestnut Ridge Road. And here's what the neighborhood looks like. What we've got here is a 1,064 square foot ranch, vinyl siding, looks like we got a two car garage, Three bedroom, one bath, built 1964, and let's look around the back and head inside. Okay, here we yeah, go. Yeah, looks like, uh, let me see, is this vinyl? Yeah, it is vinyl, okay. And looks like it just needs a good cleaning. Some of these trees need to be taken out, okay. And, all right. Nice little backyard here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Here's what the house looks like from the back. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's head inside. All right, we're heading into the living room. We got hardwood floors, which are a mess. They need to be refinished or carpeted. We've got older windows. I'm looking at it, it's kind of bowed. Looks like it's bowed out here a little bit paneling in here that have been painted obviously blue registered that are rusted and corroded got peeling here whatever wall covering is over the sheetrock oh this is really kind of like gross <laughs> you know it's cosmetic gross but the problem is that it, it you know it creates an effect and you know that's money involved here to and time in order to make it look nice let's see if we can get a look see in the garage garage two car garage door looks like it it needs replacing okay but um the rest of the garage looks pretty good sorry you couldn't get a good look at it bathroom is large needs a good cleaning yeah good clean everything just looks really dirty here and you know that, like I say, it makes an it makes an effect on you when you come in and see it. All this will have to be, you know, torn out. You know, the paneling up here, right here. All right, we'll get to this in a second. Let's see what we got. We got a kitchen. Look at that flooring. Yuck! <laughs> Some reason we got a dehumidifier going on in here. It's a good sized kitchen. Nice kitchen. Layout's a little little strange. Okay, so we got hardwood floors in here. One bedroom, closet, ceiling fan. You know, knock it right out. Get rid of, look at that, yeah. Somebody put up a wall here, did something funky in here, and that's the reason why the layout's a little bit odd or unusual. Got a small bedroom back here. See, see what I mean? All this is gonna have to be addressed with either new, new vinyl windows. All right, so you're gonna, Spent a little bit of money on windows. And the paneling, yeah, you can plug the holes in it, but it really needs just to be gone over or ripped off and put new sheetrock on. All right, let's head All down. right, down, so we're downstairs and it's a walkout basement, which is nice, which means it most likely it's gonna be nice and dry down here, but there's been moisture. And as a result of the moisture, we've got the paneling here, as you can see or not see, that's waving. Gonna have to tear it all out. It's got a subfloor, it looks like, a wood subfloor. Okay. Got block foundation. And we've got good looking panel here. Eh, it's older. Got an oil tank. Furnace, older. Maybe uh, 70s, hot water tank, electric, older, a little bit of rust on the bottom. All right, is what it is. So there's going to be some money that's going to have to be poured into this place. All right, as you can tell, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, which means there's a lot of money involved, okay? So they do have programs for homeowner occupants called the 203K that allows you to put money into the mortgage in order to fix up the house. For you that are investors, you're on your own. You're going to have to pay cash for this, and I wouldn't go much out of the 40s on this one. Homeowner occupants, 50s, you do should be doing okay. HUD's got it out of the market for 60,000, so we're very close there. 
And so I'm going to give this a somewhat enthusiastic, somewhat unenthusiastic three quarters of a thumbs up. And uh, it is assessed for 107,000 at the uh, tax office. Somebody did sell this house for 70,000 and some change back in 1999. So here's a little background on it. Thanks for stopping by for another bargain property. To learn more how to purchase this one or any other HUD home or to get inside, give us our office a call at 695-6434. Any closing words, Mumu? I guess not.